Here we are once again at the New Jersey State Championship in Wildwood. It's good, it's just spicy. Quit lying. They in trouble, cuz. I'm telling you. Sneak attack. <laughs> Bomb the <laughs> shit out of my house. I trust her. It smells like a house fire. The, I came over to tell you to get your boxes. What? Now! Laid in the fetal position, crying. It was the worst feeling. You're disqualified. Nonsense. My alarm never went off. I was shocked. That one judge, table four. I'm coming for you. Cheers. I'm Bob Trudnack, Barbecue Bob with the Barbecue Guru. From Pennsylvania, I've been competing for 15 years. I'm Steve. I'm Eric. And I'm Lauren. And we're a local smoke barbecue. We've been doing this now for 11 years. It's our 11th year on the circuit. Nothing better than being on the barbecue circuit. This is Elena, Meg, Finn, Kellen, and well, I guess Brian. Brian. Everyone calls him Ferg, though. We're Finn's finest. You know, I'm here out of here in Wildwood, beautiful Wildwood, New Jersey. I've done almost 300 cook-offs since 2006. It's a four-category section contest. My first time cooking in New Jersey, but I'm just gonna do my thing and just keep on cooking and see what happens. We are at the New Jersey State Barbecue uh, Championship, two-day event. I'm Deborah Young, I'm out of Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, I'm a master judge. Hi, my name is Heather Aronson. I'm from Jackson, New Jersey. We take our judging very seriously because these uh, competitors put a lot of time and money and energy. Uh, the four categories are the standard ones. It's chicken, ribs, pork, and brisket. Chicken, ribs, pulled pork, and brisket. We'll see what's up. This contest is ridiculous. It's one of the best contests in the country. There's nothing better. I tell you what, we've got some great cooks out here. I'm not an arrogant guy, but I'm a confident guy. Uh, but my job is to whoop the gluteus maxes off of local smoke and barbecue Bob Guru. You know, uh, my first time cooking in New Jersey, so uh, I don't really know what the uh, profile is. Um, I know some guys that are good friends of mine that are from here. I kind of have an idea, but I'm just going to do my thing and just, just keep on cooking and see what happens. Uh, we've been competing since 2010, the year he was born. Uh, we've won GC twice and RGC once. So we placed top 10 in every year except one. Yeah. It gets us out of the house and gets us, the kids out and do stuff and you know, they have fun here making new friends and stuff. There's, there's so many different methods to the madness that you can't expect to get that one perfect bite every single time. You have to be able to adjust. I mean, we adjust every comp. I mean, the wind could be bad, the rain could be bad. I mean, it's we could have a flood, power could go out. So we have to adjust. Our only hope is that the judges adjust as well. Our major challenge is the judges, I would say. Well, and these three. <laughs> Try to cook some good barbecue and hopefully the judges agree and you know really nobody knows until tomorrow we'll just try to cook everything perfectly but so far things are on pace we got a good team here and really working well you know the competition is always very stiff down here in wildwood you know we got big mo coming in from iowa we're trying to show him you know how we do things in jersey he does things a little differently but i think he can hang we'll see uh ferg you know top notch he's probably the one to beat this weekend uh you know bob Bob is always good for third place. Third place. Uh, he's gone third, 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 fourth, fourth, but who's counting? I really feel like this, this could be the guru's weekend. A bridesmaid's dress. Oh, look how cute. In case you come in third or fourth again. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Thanks, appreciate that. Thank you, I'll put it on after, after turnings. I always do really well. I've been all over the top 10, but I just can't get over the hump to win this thing, and I think this is my year. I'm gonna do it. I just made 100 water balloons. Sneak attack, bomb the shit out of them right now, because they are way too serious, and we're gonna make things fun. Oh! <laughs> yeah! I got you. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna get Mo next. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this guy's fast! I'm going to get more! I got hit in the ear. I've been competing for like, I would say like three years. I like that I um, get to cook. I put together one of my mushroom burger that I made myself. And obviously I put mushrooms in the burger. He enjoys it, like I said, just as much as we all do. He comes up with his own recipes, like everything he did today was his own thing. Like he was like, this is what I want to be doing. I thought it felt great. They loved everything. They like they they loved the burgers, they loved the dessert, and they even loved the drinks. I make small adjustments. You know, you don't want to be making big swings. So uh, it's just really important for me to just to stay who I am. My flavors are more bold. You know, my rubs are bold, uh, savory flavors. I know what works. I'm not gonna try to reinvent the wheel and guess or think that I, I, I'm gonna try to achieve to do something with these judges in my life. Right now, brisket seems to be our best category. Now, we've actually won this contest twice. And we got RGC once, once or twice. Nowadays, if you're not doing Wagyu or really good prime brisket, you're, uh, you're really not going to do well. You know, a lot of people are struggling right now finding a good brisket. Not me, because I got my buddy, he's on the farm, he's processing these cows, and he's doing the right thing with it. This thing is marbled beautifully, and the way it renders out is going to be incredible. It's what sets us apart. Uh, we've had a multiple first place briskets here out of 68, 70 teams over the course of the last 11 years. And that's really what's been helping us win all the grand champions here that we have. First of all, where's that piece of meat from? Iowa. Uh, where am I from? Iowa. <laughs> Son, you know how many cook-ups I've done? You don't need a shit. I've done 300 cook-ups. I don't need a with nobody. That's I'm right. a self-taught cook, man. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I love this way. You're just probably happy they score you on your, your food rather than your mug. Oh, they in trouble. They in trouble, cuz. I'm telling you. This is actually from Texas. And Texas and beef is one and one in the same. Generally, when it comes to brisket, I'm gonna have to trim it down a little bit in order to fit in the box. I'm not one of those guys who likes to hack on briskets at the end of the cook just to make it fit in the box. Generally, I like to trim this up nice so therefore I don't have to do that at the end point. You want a nice bark around the whole uh, brisket slice. You don't want a slice that's got some rub, some bark, and then bear, and then some bark because you didn't trim it up correctly in the beginning. So they want to see beautiful food that's perfectly laid out, that just looks like they can't wait to get into it. Once they get it on their plate, they look at tenderness and taste. We'll do this, we'll do ribs, then we'll do pork, and then we'll do brisket. This might be my thinnest rack of ribs. That's pretty thin, actually. It's a really nice rack. It's nicely marble. It's thick. Mo won't stand a chance against us. Yeah, you know, there's some great competitors here today. Finn's Finest, Local Smoke, Mo Quezon. I've been competing against them for years, and I'm hoping I can beat them this time. This is my best rack. Look at this. This is beautiful. Wow. No, this is my most beautiful rack. So it's all about timing, right? You got to have a timeline. Write down what you're doing. Refresh yourself. Make sure that everything's on target. So this is the judges right here. These are our thighs. We've always done thighs, and I'm gonna continue to do thighs until we don't do well with them. So here we are, we got some thighs. We just took them out of the brine. We're gonna put some rub on them and uh, get them in some smoke real soon. Chicken, they're looking for one bite of perfection um, that just has that perfect juiciness to it. It almost pours out, comes down along with that right, you know, little heat, little sweet, and just nothing, nothing offending, and most importantly, a nice chicken flavor. And that's what it's all about in the end. 
I've been using the same brisket injection for almost 15 years. Cheers. No, I'm kidding. This is my favorite part of the whole competition, injecting the brisket. When you're injecting like this, you've got to be careful you don't get smacked with the injection. Brisket has always been his favorite. See how it's works? Oh, I told you, I got you. I told you, I got you. All right, it's 922, everybody got their bourbon? Here we are once again at the New Jersey State Championship in Wildwood, 2018. I wish everyone the best of luck. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Last night seemed to be going great. My pork butts go on at 11.30, and then I get some sleep, and then at 1.30 I set an alarm to get up and put my briskets on. My alarm never went off. I didn't get up till 4.45 and my briskets were sitting out here on the counter. I was shocked. I couldn't even believe it. But they look good and I'm hoping they taste good and I hope the judges like them. But it scared the heck out of me this morning. Everything was according to plan. First thing I put on was brisket. That was probably 1.30. Pork went on about 2. I got ribs on. They went on at 7. Chicken won't go on to uh, the monolith until about 9. It's routine, routine. I'm trying to execute my game plan. What I'm cooking is good. Pick apart. I did not want to wake you up. I'm like, you puked last night. Like, that was weird. Had a little incident over there with Bob. Yeah. Tried to give me a little shot and I got sick. Meg said he tried to sabotage us. Bert, well, already wasn't feeling good. I'm like, are you sure you want to do this? He's like, yeah, let's go. I think there's a sand pile over there from, from Ferg last night. So that's totally Bob's fault. Like, Bob is, was sabotaging us. If we do better than usual, I'll rub it in his face. They smell smoky. They smell really smoky. They do. Did you overdo the smoke? It smells like a house fire. And this doesn't bother you right here? Pork, spot on. Beautiful slices, beautiful chunks, some tubes. So uh, I, think, I think my sauce is spot on for out here. What are you doing? Yo! The, I came over to tell you to get your boxes. When? Now! This morning, I let him sleep in, which I typically don't ever do. But uh, I knew he wasn't feeling that great, so I let him sleep in. It don't make me nervous. I gotta trust, trust Meg's judgment. She's been doing it just as long as I have, so. I uh, got up, wrapped the butts this morning, wrapped the brisket, separated the point, wrapped that up, and then um, put the ribs on. So all he's gotta do is chicken. I actually do things in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah, time on. Well, 52. He never gives me credit. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that? We take our judging very seriously. One minute, one minute. We're looking for things that are flavorful, moist, tender. I can't really comment on how the scoring goes. I can tell you, to be grand champion or even reserve grand champion, in my experience, people that have uh, not necessarily won categories can still be in the running for this. I'm not gonna jump through a bunch of hoops just to satisfy some judges in a different region. I'm gonna cook my cook, because I know that what I'm cooking is good. I had a little bit of a stressful cook. It's not easy to get a 180, but I'm gonna try like hell. And he yells at me now. He's like, he's like, I can't believe you let me sleep. I'm like, he woke up and totally thought things were gonna be bad this morning. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I got everything covered. I probably didn't do them the way he would do them, but I did what I would do at home. Introducing the Grizzly Drifter 12. If you need a go-to daily cooler that is just the right size for those quick adventures, the Grizzly Drifter 12 is a must.
from about 12 to 1.30, life is chaotic. <laughs> it can be, we've, we've missed a turn in once before. That was the worst feeling in the world. So I pretty much laid in the fetal position in that bed in there for what, two hours, I think, crying. It was the worst feeling. We have a chicken turn in at 12, 12.30 is ribs, one o'clock pork and 1.30 brisket. You have a five minute window before and after. If you turn in chicken at 12.05, you are done, you're disqualified. It's down to the second. When they put that clock down, you gotta be in line or you gotta have those ribs in or you're done. Mike, you got the spray? Spray oil? Here we go, 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 go! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time! Turn in time is closed. Just wanna hear your name once, get up to stage once, and that's really it. I wanna welcome everyone on behalf of the Anglesey Volunteer Fire Company to the award ceremony for the New Jersey State Barbecue Championship. A 180 is a perfect score. On Saturday was our kids' queue. It was a 10 and under division. They also have to impress the judges on site. In first place in 10 and under, Iron Finn. Where's Iron Finn? Good job. Our first turn in on Sunday was chicken. Barbecue Bob, famous drumstick right here. That's a good piece of chicken right there. Nice glaze, perfect tenderness. Bite through skin unlike us. He wins. Chicken was pretty tough today. Something happened with our skin. It got a little funky, a little tight, a little rubbery. Bob wins. Perfect. It's good. It's just spicy. I'm just saying, you get a little old lady up there. She's probably gonna fall over and have a heart attack. Quit lying. Did you try most? Yeah. Spicy. My mouth is on fire. Yeah. See. Really? It's a little spicy. Spicy? Yeah. The I, black pepper makes it spicy. God damn, it's spicy. Big Mo doesn't want to admit it, but his chicken was spicy. Spicy for you! <laughs> <laughs> I think I did all right. A couple of these uh, New Jersey folks said it was spicy, but... Most chicken, it's delicious, but it's got a lot of heat, and I'm not sure the judges are gonna love that. Chicken's got to have flavor. It's got a great flavor, the sauce is amazing, but it does have a lot of heat in there, so I'm worried for him. I tasted the chicken, and it's bland, in my eyes. You need to do chicken because that was all you. At least I. The chicken, I. It wasn't. The chicken. The BBQ oh. Guru! Congratulations, guys. Our second turn in category for Sunday was pork ribs. Ribs are not supposed to entirely pull away from the bone. That means they're overcooked. <laughs> you know, I've seen some of the ribs cross from the other competitors, and I feel like I'm right in the mix with those guys with my ribs. We started doing a little bit more sweet as, a, as opposed to the heat. Our kids like it. So, uh, I mean. I the judges like it. We'll see, but. Pork ribs, the BBQ Guru. Our third turn in category for Sunday, pork. Pork, I don't know, I still I don't, I don't understand I don't pork. pork. Uh, I thought my pork was good. I think it's, if you have a good sauce on your pork, I think you'll do well. If you have a good sauce in anything, I think you'll do well. Pork, I think it was good, maybe a little tight, so a little undercooked. It just wasn't like falling apart like it should be. So we'll see what happen, happens there. For pork. Local Smoke BBQ! Our final turning category for Sunday was brisket. 
5 today this morning, you're in there snoring and your pit's at 362 degrees. And you, and you didn't even get your brisket on yet. So what? Because you missed your alarm. The number one rule in barbecue is you don't make an alarm. If you have to wake up at 1.30, you just stay up. I should have. You can't miss an alarm. I should have. You you're absolutely right. 1.30? Yeah. It's Wildwood, bro. I feel pretty good about my brisket entry, but not as good as my chicken and ribs. On the one side of the brisket, it pulled apart part perfectly. The other side was a little rubbery. So I don't know what happened. I've never seen that before, but I'm just hoping for the best. I think I got my best slices of pie. I thought brisket was all right. Um, I think texturally it was there. It may have pushed closer to almost overdone, but not there. I mean, you can still get slices and drape it over your finger, so I'm good, so. Bob was like, would you put garlic on this? And he's like, no, I'm pretty sure Meg put onion flake on it. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was good, it was good. I tasted the other guys' briskets, they're okay, but when I think eat the brisket, it's roast beef. And I just, I can't roll like that. This is my husband's meat. This is, okay, I'm done. It was not exactly where I wanted it to be. Not my normal brisket, so I'm hoping for the best on brisket. They were talking a lot of ish too, man. And what I was seeing wasn't translating to what they were talking. So we'll see what's up. For brisket, local smoke barbecue. Congratulations. We're gonna move on to our overall, this is all four categories from today. In fourth place overall for the 2018 New Jersey State Barbecue Championship, the BBQ Guru. Once again, you know, Bob got fourth, Pretty standard, really. Happens every year. Big Mo, I'm a little upset. He beat us by half a point. Just needed to give us an eight instead of a seven. We would have had him. Uh, really happy. I wouldn't change a thing, honestly. I really wouldn't. Um, it's all subjective. Had a great time, and I will look forward to coming back next year. That one judge, table four, seat six. I'm coming for you next time. I can't have Big Mo going back to Iowa saying he beat the four-time champ by a half point. Over one one appearance score, it's nonsense. I'm not happy with my results. Real happy with his results. I feel really happy, yep. <laughs> we had great camp food. We competed against each other. There's nothing better than being here with all these guys and cooking barbecue. But my favorite part of the whole weekend was kicking their asses. I got fourth place overall, people. Fourth place! Yeah, I can't do that! I can't do that!